Hey, welcome back to Woodruff Woods. I'm Darren, and if it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, I appreciate it. Anyway, today I have a big white oak tree, which I'll give you a little tour of here in a moment, which uh, kind of blew over. I'm not sure why. It was a live tree, and uh, this is a pretty big tree. So uh, I thought maybe I'd give you a look behind me. At least I'm doing it with a, in a place where there's a beautiful view, and... Uh, that's overlooking the town of Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania, if you have any idea where that is. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, give you a little tour here, then I'm gonna get cutting. This is not gonna be a one video issue, I don't believe, unless I really edit it down, because there is a ton of work in this tree. So this is the tree we're dealing with. It's a very large white oak. And uh, the worst part about it is, is the main trunk of the tree is probably 20, 30 feet above my head, which does not make me feel real good. So uh, my plan here is to get some of this stuff down in here cleaned up, trim all that up, maybe some of this smaller stuff cut into to lengths of wood that I can just throw in the dump trailer and kind of work my way back. Um, there is a Y branch right there on the tree that is supporting the tree from rolling over. So I think I can get some of this down and uh, get less over my head. Then my plan will be to come back here where this tree pulled out of the ground and cut that off. I think that's at least three feet across, if not more. Quite a massive tree. So if I can get that cut off of there, um, I think what we can do is throw a rope up over here or a chain and take the farm tractor and roll it on its side. If I can do that, then I can get this tree down on the ground and I can feel a little safer about, about dealing with it. So in the lineup today for saws, I brought the 572 XP, which I think I'll probably be using the most. I've got the T435 top handle, which you'll see a lot of today. The 592 XP for that base. And over here, I brought the old 346 XP. Uh, tried and true, proven saw, somewhat legendary. So uh, I think I'll be putting all four of these saws to use at some point in time. The uh, 346 will be nice for some of those medium sized logs, while the top handle will be good just trimming up these branches. Got this tree safer uh, it's still not completely safe but it's much better um, certainly i'm not too worried about cutting it i've got most of it trimmed up i mean i'm sure i'll find some branches here or there so let me spin you around show you what we got so there you have it um it's on it's the main beam is down on the ground as you saw with the tractor pulling it over uh, i have to tell you i wasn't sure that tractor would pull it over but it sure did and never spun a wheel it's saint patrick's day and I'm due for a Guinness. And one of my buddies just called and said, hey, you going for a Guinness? And uh, I think I'm going to. Gonna start hauling out some of this white oak. Uh, I have a big white oak here. And uh, I have some video that I took uh, two weeks ago. It's rained ever since. And today's really the first day that I could get back here in the field without making a mess. So I've been a busy beaver here. And uh, I got a trailer load. I'll turn you around and show you. Now this is mostly limb wood and uh, you know I, I hear DOT might be out today so uh, I'm not gonna load too heavy it's really hard to measure like how much weight you have in the trailer without going on a scale I don't think I'm anywhere near 14,000 pounds in there but uh, just to be safe and if it's just about level with the trailer they don't seem to bother you so what do we get cleaned up well quite a bit um, I actually, uh, this is the main stem here. I got that whole side of the tree to deal with. That's all tangled up. I'm gonna have to get in there and cut my way in, pull it out with the tractor. When I start walking back here, you'll see like, it gets real big. And 
you know, it's not going to take many of these to uh, fill up the trailer. Uh, just to give you a perspective here, my hand on this, and obviously bigger down there at the bottom. I found this thing on the internet, and you measured the circumference at what I estimated to be breast height, and it told you the age, and it says that this, somewhere 200 to 225 years old. So, uh, you know, I always think it's kind of fun to think about what that tree saw. You know, so if you say it was around in 1800 and just what was happening in this country, the Civil War in the 1860s, you know, World War I, World War II, I mean, that tree uh, had a lot of history in it.
So we're all loaded up. I'll turn you around and show you what we got here on the second load. As you can see, nice load of white oak, some good sized logs in there, and some, some limb wood. I'll show you what we got left. I think the rest of this will fit on one more trailer load. And we'll turn you around and you can take a look. Part of the main trunk here, there's a lot of wood in that. And then uh, where it broke off here, we've got some of that. And then we got just a little bit of limb wood over there. Most of that's brush, but uh, there are some salvageable pieces in there. So we're back at the house here, getting ready to do a dump. Quite a load on there. I could really feel it coming down the road. It's hitting my exhaust brake quite often. But uh, boy, this is really nice wood. Well, it's time to feed the 592 some candy. I'm gonna cut this root ball off and I'm gonna take you along for the ride here. So before I hook onto this with the tractor or the truck, I think I'm gonna cut this one to eight foot six inches. Um, it may be enough to get through my buddy's mill and uh, I might have this milled into some lumber. I haven't decided yet. One thing that bothers me is there's a little bit of a dead spot right here and uh, you probably couldn't see that. Let me pull you off the stand. So I got a little bit of rot right here and I'm not sure how deep it goes. So uh, gonna cut and uh, you know, this might make some nice live edge stuff. Uh, I don't know anybody with a mill big enough to cut the bottom. <laughs>
gonna look like shy moving these around. Only not as big. So, I'm losing battery power, so that's going to do it all for Woodruff Woods today. Got a little bit of cleanup left to do here, but this tree is pretty much history at this point. So, thanks for checking us out. Hope you stick around, hope you subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.